I'm joined by Catherine Freeman from your local bookkeeper. I decided to talk to you about your business because I know you've been on a massive journey and you've got really cool plans for the future that always inspire me. Tell me a bit about your practice and who you help. So I run a bookkeeping practice called Your Local Bookkeeper, which is based down in Surrey. And there's three of us on the team and we focus on businesses with a sustainability angle. So they might be businesses that are providing services to other businesses that are sustainable or are trying to be more green and sustainable themselves. The main thing that our clients look for is really visibility over their numbers. They are not number people most of the time. A lot of them are creative and the thought of numbers scares them. So what we do as bookkeepers is change the way that language is delivered to them in a, in a way that they understand. Cool. I came across the Six Figure Bookkeeper originally through a boot camp, and that was just through Googling and Facebook for other bookkeepers and communities. I remember doing the, the boot camp and thinking, I'm not just a bookkeeper. Before I joined Six Figure Bookkeeper, I was just a bookkeeper. I had maybe two clients that were paying me by the hour, which I definitely do not do now. And I wasn't really valuing myself as a business owner. I was just ticking along almost like a hobby, basically. But the course has changed the way that I view and I now work as a business rather than someone, an employee for other people doing their books. The biggest achievement of doing the six month success program is definitely getting to the end of it and realizing that you've made those changes I was a sole practitioner that was working basically as an employee for my client and I think the change has really been in my mindset of I can now run a business maybe with staff and the six month success program talks you through all of that and how to systemize it in a way that you can become a business rather than just a bookkeeper. And as well as the changes that have happened in your business through everything that you've done from the success programme, what's that meant for your life in general? Oh gosh, I've really realised, I think I've really realised my worth as a a person. I've definitely become more confident from doing the programme. We In the Success Lounge in particular, we're a group of friends and we always call ourselves the business besties rather than sort of colleagues. And we're all there with the sole purpose of boosting each other up and helping each other. And that's not just on business. So I feel like I've become more confident with my business and things like pricing and talking to clients and dealing with objections. But also personally, I've become more confident. I've been to things that I never thought I would go to, accounting shows and people's houses like that I don't know, I've never met before, events that you guys have run. And it's really boosted my confidence and knowing that there's nothing to worry about because all my business besties will be there when I finally arrive. The course is really good. I've done it and I've implemented things, but I would not now leave the success lounge because that's my group of friends now there are lots of other coaches out there for business owners and for accountants and bookkeepers what do you think is different about the way that we work together in the six-figure bookkeeper the first thing is that you and joe are both really normal and you show us that there's ups and downs in a business joe particularly being a bookkeeper herself shows us that you do lose clients and sometimes there are staffing issues and things go wrong and you're really 100% visible. Um, And also it's not just about sales and growing the business, it's about creating a business that works for you. So you might not be a six-figure bookkeeper, I'm definitely not a six-figure bookkeeper, but my business works for me in terms of my lifestyle so balancing it with childcare, with health issues with everything else that goes on in the world and that's what makes you guys different is you realize that the value isn't necessarily just the money it's everything else that goes on it to make you have a balanced life oh. Jo is always she's an oversharer so she's always telling us things that have happened and also one of the best things is that you just turn up I remember 
the first kind of boot camp I went on, you turned up with some bongos. Jo turns up with her Kylie wine and it's really relaxed and yeah, it's brilliant. You've got loads of stuff going on at the moment. I know like you're a big advocate for sustainability. You're like my go-to person for that, definitely. And I know that you've got lots of great ideas and projects and you're collaborating and working with other people in this space who can help businesses be more sustainable and just improve. What are you working on now? What, what does the future look like for you? So at the moment, we've still got the bookkeeping side and that's going to be ticking along. But I really feel like my passion is in sustainability. We're in a position where in the world where we need to be focusing on this more. I really think that collaboration over competition comes into this. I, what I want to do is collaborate with other accountants and bookkeepers to make sure that they're thinking about sustainability in their practice, not just from an environmental point of view, but actually from a money making point of view. There's a lot of opportunities in this in terms of reporting for companies and things like that. I'm currently putting together a course for bookkeepers and accountants to get to grips with the basics of sustainability. So the jargon busting, little things that you can do to help and measure your carbon footprint, which then hopefully they can then offer as a service to their clients and make money from it. If you think how many bookkeepers and accountants there are in the UK, if everyone made one small difference and their client made a small difference off the back of that a massive change.